Good morning, how are you guys today? This morning I wanted to give you guys an update on the early blue hydrangeas that I planted almost exactly a year ago. Except for this very last one, I had about three hydrangeas that I had been limping along for a while and I added it here so the first six are early blue. I don't know if the last one is a Nico blue because that's how old it is and look how small it is. I'll tell you a story about that one in a little bit. I picked these all up for $3 and I think they were in four inch cans when I purchased them. And I know you're probably wondering why are a few of them blue and the rest of them more like a lavender pink-ish purple. They probably look a little more lavender as the sun is shining. When the shade, they look a little bit more purple. And I asked the nursery, did I do something wrong? Because I was using Espoma soil acidifier and he had suggested instead of giving them one dose in the spring, slowly dose the acidifier starting in December. Because I did give them all equal amounts. So even though they don't all match in color, for me, I'm gonna call it a win. And the reason why is because for years I have tried to grow hydrangeas and without success. I've had three total and in the beginning I didn't realize that for me where I live placement probably is paramount over everything, over fertilizer and water. Where I place these becomes the most important factor when trying to grow them, at least for me here in Central California. This week it's supposed to be 104 and it's May. <laughs> and it's unseasonable, but that's how soon the warm weather can start for us. So like right now you'll see that they're getting a small strip of sun and it's really early in the morning. So they will get a good amount of sun till about 10. And then between 10 and 12, as the sun's shifting, it'll get a little bit more filtered sun. I have, I think this is half inch drip tubing um, that has emitters every 16 inches. I, th I think that's what it is. So I don't have any special emitters that I added to it because of the amount of growth that they put on this year that eventually they'll just come just below the fence right here and you'll see this big swath of color and these will bloom all the way through early fall and that's a lot of bang for your buck as far as the color it produces oh I did want to say I have not trimmed them I have not cut them I've done nothing to them <laughs> except for keep them hydrated and I gave them the soil acidifier and then when I planted them, I put Biotone and I think I put gypsum in there as well. For probably almost 10 years, I've tried to grow hydrangeas and I've put them in parts of the yard that I thought could take more sun than it, than it really should. So I'm really happy with how they've turned out. Let me show you a couple more hydrangeas on my patio now. These both are Merit Supreme hydrangeas. I purchased this one last year on clearance and I think I paid only five dollars for it and I have them both sitting side by side because I just happened to be in the clearance department again at the same store uh, the blue big box uh, hardware store uh, that's where I normally get uh, my clearance plants your your locally owned nurseries a lot of times will have them as well uh, but this is where I purchased these I purchased this last year and this looked just like this one, maybe even a little worse. I kept it in its pot. Again, I didn't trim it, I didn't cut it, I didn't do anything to it. There's a place right here um, to the left of me that gets a good portion of morning sun and is super shaded the rest of the day. And that's where I kept it almost the entire year. I just actually put it in a pot a few weeks ago. And it wasn't on drip, so I was just watering it, uh, obviously during the summer every day, sometimes two times a day. And I was gonna show you, this is the pot that it comes in. I just have it sitting in here so you could see it side by side. 
I am hoping <laughs> that next year, this one will look just like this one. And I'll probably in the fall have to take it out of the pot. Uh, I didn't have the tag. This didn't come with a tag, it just came with a, uh, like a sticker thing on the, on, the, um, on the can. But this one actually came with a care tag. And I had put it away for the year and I grabbed it a few days ago and I thought, oh shoot, <laughs> they can grow up to six feet tall and five feet wide. This pot won't accommodate that, which is okay. Come fall when uh, they're all finished blooming, there's a spot here on the north side of my house that I can place both of these. And so I will do the same with this at that time in the fall. I'll put this one in the ground as well. I just wanted to show you that you can take something that is stressed and not doing well and it can look like this. I'm, I'm, this is a big accomplishment for me. <laughs> Even though I don't have very many hydrangeas, there's been a, a gal's house that I have passed by for years, uh, taking my kids to elementary school. Of course, my kids are in college now, so that's how long it's been. But my husband and I were just driving by her house the other day and she has the same hydrangeas. And I admire them every year. And I think the reason why hers are so successful is because hers are planted on the north side of the house. I think now I feel a little bit more confident that I'm willing to pay full price for a hydrangea now that I understand just exactly how much water they need, where they need to be placed in the landscape for me. I'm hoping that within this next year, I only have a few spots in my yard that can accommodate uh, shade loving plants like hostas. I have no hostas, but I would love to. That's another plant that just doesn't really want to be in the sun for very much time. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the difference and how tired <laughs> this one looks. It needs a, bit, needs a little love and attention, how this can look like this in just one year's time. I hope this video was a little bit helpful. I'm excited for this next year to hopefully buy uh, a few more hydrangeas and uh, place them around my yard. I think they add a lot of impact to the landscape. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys are having a really great week. We'll see you soon, bye.